Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you my entire camera collection, what I've pretty much been collecting throughout the past couple of years, and a new camera which you probably saw a while ago, and I gotta say man, super pleased with it. So let's start off with the most random one, is my phone. Yes, believe it or not, my phone is a camera that I have got to unfortunately use once in a while, due to the fact that, you know, sometimes my equipment needs repairing, sometimes the batteries need to get, you know, charged, or sometimes my equipment just simply won't work. So my phone is definitely a lifesaver in some cases. It's obviously something I intend to avoid as much as possible, but if the decision is to be made, I continue the video with making it with my phone. Okay, so a product that I bought a while ago was the GoPro Hero 8 that I have right in front of me. Um, really good product, you know, GoPro is one of these brands that really are advanced with their technology and equipment. I bought it a while ago because I wanted a camera that was compatible size-wise that wasn't too big and chunky. It weighs quite a bit. You throw this at someone, you can probably kill them. It's that heavy and it's good quality. It's heavy, you know. I've never dropped it in the beginning. I've got the protection layer on here. Yes, I've taken it off here because it does have an effect on the quality of the recording. What I like about the GoPro is it's not a autofocus one. So there's no autofocus at all. So it doesn't matter how close you bring your hand, nothing will autofocus because it doesn't have that enabled as a feature, which is one of the many reasons why people like GoPro compared to others because A, it's compatible with an SD card, microchip, whatever, super easy plugging into your laptop. I have to use a cable, unfortunately, transferred via data cable because my SD card is broken because you know I, I broke it a while ago. Slept it on, I slept on it, and I probably broke a chip inside. But besides that, good product. What I like about it as well, you can buy a tripod, put it in there, screw it on a helmet. They give you stickers, even if you buy the basic edition, you know, you get the basic stuff. Um, the GoPro 8, really good. I bought this because I wanted to vlog more and I wanted to make content that was more widescreen requirement because a lot of cameras are not widescreen and you've got different modes on this. Now, if you start it up, it takes a little while, it takes a little while. You know, it has to think and everything. Good camera, only downside is, unfortunately, when it reaches about 50% of its battery health, it decides just not to turn on. Hence the reason why I bought the GoPro Hero 11, and I'm actually currently using it right now as a light source because it has a flashlight on it, which is a cool feature. Now, it is touchscreen, just to let you all know, all of the GoPros that, I'm, that I've had were touchscreen, and yeah, it's pretty good, man. It's honestly super good quality, I like it a lot. And the one, you know, the one downside I guess any GoPro has is the battery health. So it's super easy to really do. You have the clip, you have to pull out battery, super easy. I bought a new battery and an SD card because I thought maybe the battery and SD cards were broken. So this is what the inside of it looks like. You pretty much put it in. I bought this. Now it actually does work pretty good. It's a good alternative if you don't want to spend crazy amount of money for your GoPro to be protected as well because GoPro is water resistant, but I wouldn't do it. No, it's still a camera at the end of the day. It's just like a phone. Yeah, you, you know, all these claims are nice, but don't fuck around and find out. Really good. So it protects the camera from dropping it. However, the only downside is it does cover the microphone. So that means if you do these type of things that you're going to hear it in the video. But in general, it's a pretty good thing. I bought this then. So with the GoPro cable they give you, put it in there. You pretty much just click your batteries in and it charges. Super easy. The one thing I do think is kind of strange with that products is the loose products are quite a lot. I mean, this is about this is 20 bucks, this thing alone. You don't even get a battery included as well. Now over to my personal favorite camera that I own is the Sony ZV-1. This thing is just out of this world, man. The quality of this thing when it autofocus, it, it all depends on the light as well. Every camera will autofocus, will try its best to enlighten the environmental light. So when it's super dark, or it's focused on dark products. For example, my phone, it will have autofocus problems because it's trying to find the correct place to, to focus on. And it's high quality, you know. I wanted to focus on my microphone and it's perfectly focused. I, I hope I can show you the flip. Uh, let me see, let me focus on that. You see, it's focused perfect. And it's got a zoom in function as well. It's a fast zoom in, it's touch screen as well. And this one I pretty much specifically bought for my vlogging and for my cooking because a long time ago people were like, yo bro, we would love to see you guys cook in your videos. All right, cool, no problem. I got this for my birthday as a present. This microphone is not included when you buy the Sony. It's yet again, it's one of those loose compatible microphones you have to buy. Super easy. You click it in here, you twist the turner, you put the cable in it, bam, and that's it. Now yet again, with these cameras, they're phenomenal, but it's just a battery life. You know, if you're on a long distance trip or whatever, you wanna make sure you always have batteries. Now, batteries, man, 
you want to you want to buy the specific batteries that is included into it. So I bought Chili Power. These are compatible with the Sony. It says it as well. Replaces. You know, there you go. It says the Sony. You want 3.6 volt. Don't want to fuck around and buy too much because it can explode. And this is the original one that comes with it, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, but they're all original. They're all compatible with the Sony, so it really doesn't matter. Just make sure you buy batteries that are included. Now, obviously, this is, at this moment, one of my favorite cameras as well. The GoPro Hero 11 Creator Edition. This is the ultimate bundle, pretty much. This thing is one of a kind. I showed it, you know, you use the cable, you plug it in here, it charges the GoPro itself via the static, which is fucking awesome. You can charge the remote. With the cables that get provided, as as I said, specific GoPro cables work alone. You know, you could buy ripoff or alternatives. I've tried it; it doesn't work. They just don't accept it for some reason. So that's that's a good thing. At least you know when you do have a GoPro, it's compatible with only the stuff they give you. You've got the mode. You, you turn your GoPro on, connect it to the Bluetooth via the setting or the touchscreen. You can compatible with your phone, which is awesome. So if you're from a distance and you're like shit, this is empty, or like okay, cool, whatever. It's got voice recommend recognition as well. So Check this out, right? Check this out, check this out. GoPro, start recording. It starts recording. GoPro, stop recording. It stops recording. Like, that's fucking insane, bro. Wow, right? The GoPro Hero 8 has the exact same. This one is bigger, that's one thing you'll notice. Like, the screen is wider, it's a little bit bigger as well. It's, it's got more width, it's, it's higher as well. And the resolution on this is so much easier, and the touchscreen just feels so good. Recording. The audio playback on this is 10 times better than the GoPro Hero 8. You really have to put this thing against your ear to really fucking understand what it, what it says. And it's the same thing with this. The audio playback on this isn't the greatest, but, you know, I just connect it to my speaker, put it on full blast to understand what I'm saying. And it's super easy, you know. It's so fast. It's like a car with the newest technology on screen dashboard. It, it is so quickly when it comes to the responding... You know, you have all these settings, and what I like, which is a, a a big upgrade to the 8, is the fact you have a screen, so when you're recording, you at least get to see what you're recording. So look, I'm recording right now, I can see this, I record myself, I can see myself recording. So then you're always ensured of, hey, is it working? Hey, is what I'm recording what I want to, to record? Hey GoPro, stop recording! Awesome, right? Ha! <laughs> Dude, I think it is such a cool feature. And the tripod itself, man, I love it. Super easy, super duper duper easy to set up. Twist it. You, you literally just fucking twist it. I mean, bro, that is just genius of them, right? I think this is one of the nicest products that GoPro has ever launched. And it just works as well. With the 8, you know, the 8's a little bit laggy because it is a few years old as well. This one is up to date. And the nice thing about GoPro, it updates automatically as well in the background. So it won't bother you saying, hey, it needs to upgrade, update. No, you get, a rec you get a notification on your GoPro app. The thing is, you cannot use the GoPro without installing that GoPro app. The GoPro app is very important because from a distance, you can monitor your camera as well. You can turn it on, you can turn it off, you can upload to your cloud, but that requires a subscription. You know, you spend all that money, but you got to pay for a fucking subscription. Yeah, right. I don't do that. Super easy. I love this thing and it's just awesome. The vlogs have been amazing with this thing and just super excited because you can take pictures on it. Now, pictures about this, you know, when you buy a GoPro, you don't buy it for the picture quality. You buy it for the performance and what you're able to do. You can mount it, like I said, on your helmet, on your car, on your dashboard because of its size. That's what makes it so amazing. So definitely a recommendation if you want a good quality action performance camera. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is my full collection of equipment very nice equipment do i think of buying other stuff in the pet in the future maybe but i feel like now i've got everything and oh yeah i also forgot to mention you can put it around your hand which is awesome so like when you drop it it doesn't fall out of your hand i like how they thought about that see you next time